Hi there, my name is Allie and this is my college admissions process video. <laughs> I was applying to college um, during the 2020-2021 school year, which was this year. I'm a senior this year. There were a lot of challenges. <laughs> um, I didn't get to tour most of my school. Some of the schools I applied to and ultimately didn't choose, I have never seen in person and probably never will just because there were so many travel restrictions and I couldn't really see any of what I was applying to. Also, um, I did send test scores to schools. Because schools are test optional, there were a lot more applicants um, who were on very equal footing um, because test scores, really it's just a score and there are some people who are great testers and some people who are bad testers. So I don't know how much I believe in its validity as an aptitude test, but because a lot of students are good writers, it put a lot more pressure on applicants to be really good writers. It was much more competitive because there were more people who applied to these schools because it was test optional and there were no test scores to kind of group applicants into. So a lot of schools that I applied to had far lower acceptance rates than the usual year. So I had to apply to college in a very, very difficult year. I did find some success. I found some failures too, but that's okay. My state of mind was very much a failure is just one less choice you have to make. So whenever I'd get rejected, I'd say, okay, my indecisive self has one less decision to make. That's a good thing for me. Now I'm gonna play you through all of my admissions, decisions, reactions I recorded throughout the year. Uh, I applied to 16 schools. I applied to... I'll put a list. I'll put a list of them on the screen because I'm forgetting half of the schools I applied to. Um, jeez. Where did I even apply? I know. Hi everyone. It's December... 10th. 10th. Oh, it's the 11th. 10th. It's the 11th. 10th. I wrote 11th on every single school assignment I turned in today. Oh. It's December 10th. <laughs> and I just got an email from UMass. So I think I just got my first college decision. Touch ID, baby. View update. Yay, I got in! Yay! Yay! First one! Yay! I got into journalism too, which is what I wanted. Oh, nice! Oh! I did not get into the Honors College. Really? Wow, okay. That's okay, though. But I got in at least. Yay, Yay! alright! Congratulations! Woo first one! Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's December... 13th? December 13th. And I just got an email from Georgetown, which is kind of unexpected because the whole time that they said it was going to be the 15th in the afternoon, so I was planning on Tuesday. Oh, I'm scared. I feel like I'm going to get deferred. You don't know. I think I'm going to get deferred or rejected. <laughs> oh, I got in! Ah! <laughs> oh! oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! Oh my god. I was in the top 11% of applicants. Wow! <laughs> Allie! That's amazing! Did you see that? Out of 8,700 What's the top 11? Okay, hold on. 87,000 times 0. 0.11. 8,700. <laughs> Georgetown. <laughs> Georgetown. This is one of 900 people. Yeah. 950 people. Don't underestimate the hard work that you've put in to get here, Allie. So proud. Anyway, thought I was getting deferred. I, yeah. I really thought I was getting deferred. Wow. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It is um, December 15th at 4.30 p.m. And I never got an email, but I decided to check my portal for South Carolina. 
and they just had a status update there. So we're gonna open it and see if I got in. Yay, there's Yay! confetti, which means I got in. Woo! <laughs> we like, it's my pleasure to congratulate you. I've been, I got into broadcast journalism, which is what I wanted. Did you, oh, I got a scholarship. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Whoa. Congratulations. Yay. Congratulations, honey. So proud of you. Yay. Okay, oh, wow. baby. <laughs> that was fun. That, that was awesome. awesome. I wasn't expecting that. Yay. Woo! Number three. three. Right, three now three. I'm, right now I'm three for three. Oh. Then I get one on Thursday, one on Friday. Hi. Um, It is the 23rd of December, and Loyola Honor... Nope. It's not loyal. <laughs> That's so awkward. Thank you. And um, South Carolina honors just came out. My hair looks a mess because I baked 349 cookies today. Let's open it up. That's the wrong website. <laughs> New updates were posted. View decision update. I got into the honors college. <laughs> The nation's top-ranked public university honors college. Wow. They told me that was coming out mid-February. They lied to me. That's what they did. <laughs> Anything else? Hi. Merry, Merry Christmas. I'll see you after the holidays, probably. Hi, I'm back. It's December 16th. And I just got an email saying that my Loyola, Maryland decision has come out. Let's see. Don't laugh at my finger gun. Stress. Hope you don't mind me looking. Dad, you're going to find out either way. I know. I know, but we want to You're allowed to look. Okay. Yay! Yay! I got a presidential scholarship. <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay! <laughs> it's a movie. Thumbs up. Four for four so far. Hi, don't mind my Christmas shirt, but it's, um, I'm already in pajamas. It's December 17th, Thursday, 6 p.m., and Fairfield just came out, so I'm gonna look. Yay! 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 <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Five for five. Five for five. All right, we got one more tomorrow. Hi, Merry Christmas. It's not Christmas, it's December 18th. I just got off for Christmas break, and I just got a random email from Stonehill, which is one of my safety schools. They uploaded a decision completely out of the blue, out of nowhere. I also get Providence later tonight, so this is gonna be a fun day. Dad, I just realized that you've got, you've worn the same sweatshirt in every single video this week. <laughs> Congratulations! Yay! Yay! Shields Merit Scholarship. Six for six! That's six for six! There is a video that I can dance to. Welcome to the class of 2025. Hi, Scott. I'm Thanks, Scott. Is this one that I can dance to? That was another one. <laughs> Yay! So actually, I lost the footage of me getting into Providence College, but I was accepted, and I was also accepted into their liberal arts honors program. Um, I was at my friend's house for a Christmas Eve um, little get together. So I unfortunately um, lost all of the footage that she sent me, one of my friends, um, because she was recording. So I got into Providence. I'm sorry that I can't show you. Good afternoon. It's January 12th. I randomly got an email while I was in psych and then I had to wait for the rest of psych to be able to open it. Um, it's from Boston College. And we're gonna open it. The way that I was like panicking in psych, we had like a seven minute assignment. She was like, do this whole thing in seven minutes. And I was like, but, but I got an email. <laughs> I did not get, I am not a finalist. 
But that is okay. Okay. So I will know on April 1st. Okay. Slay. Because I would okay. think those folks would know. Amazing. Right. Bye, everybody. Hello there. I didn't get to film it live of me opening decisions because I was in a speech meeting. So I opened it with <laughs> with uh, the freshman I'm coaching, who's wonderful. Anyway, I got into the Stonehill Moreau Honors College. So yay. So that was a fun little surprise for this evening. Um, and it was just really funny because we were in the middle of practicing a piece and I was like, oh, I just got into an honors college. Hopefully later this month, I'll be getting North Carolina. Yay for getting decisions during speech meetings. Okay, bye. Good afternoon. It's January 27th, 2021. I just got woken up from a nap for this, but North Carolina came out. Like, just post-nap, so don't mind me if I'm grouchy. We have a decision. I did not get into North Carolina. Uh, cool, cool. Okay. That's okay, though. That actually makes my decision easier, so. Ayo. Cool. Okay. First rejection. Woo. Yeah. That makes know, it easier right? to pick, honestly. I know. You okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bye. All right, hi everybody. It's been like three months or something ridiculous. Um, and it is March 25th, 6, 11 p.m. And we're looking at Boston College. And I just checked again because one of my best friends who's going there texted me and said, rumor is dot, 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 they've come. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> You're out of breath. I just went up the stairs. <laughs> Yay! Yay! I also lost all of the footage of my reaction to my University of Michigan decision. I was rejected, but that's okay. Like I said, one less decision for me to make. Um, I was also with my friends when that was recorded, so somewhere all of that footage got lost in translation. It's really funny because we just got out of kickboxing and we look so gross. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Right here. Um, Northwestern came out. Okay. Yeah, this could be so bad. I it, I think it's gonna be waitlist. Oh, I got rejected. That's okay. Oh, oh well. It's Whatever. Say love. Okay. Pump it. <laughs> Oh, no. When you open it, like it literally pops out the PCs did. That's already. It's six forty-two. You know what that means. Where are you? We're for two cheese. Ready? Waiting list. It's not a no. It's not a no. It's not it's not after, a no. <laughs> after seven rejections between us today, it's not it's a no. It's not 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 a no. That's a victory for today. That's, that's a win today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What am I? We're with the, we're with the oh. ladies again this time. It's so cold. Your parents are on FaceTime. We're at the beach. That's open safari. I think this is going to be a rejection because I didn't really show the demonstrated interest. Yeah, yeah. Rejection. <laughs> It's okay. Um, okay. Like it wasn't like I was gonna like ship it out to California anyway for undergrad. So like I'm not even that mad. Ship it out to California. <laughs> Hello everybody. It is Tuesday, April sixth at six fifty nine p.m. There are twenty seconds until all of the Ivy League decisions come out. So I applied to Harvard, Brown, and Dartmouth. And we'll see how it goes. Oh, it's seven o'clock. Okay, I opened everything um, before because I was scared that things were gonna get really, really backlogged. Cause I know that there's probably a ton of other people trying desperately to get in. Mom, dad, they're literally loaded. Come on. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna do Harvard Dartmouth Brown. Okay. okay. I don't expect to get into Harvard. Applied on a win? Nope. Okay. <laughs> right. Expected. Okay. Thanks, Harvard. That's Bye. Okay. Mm. So let's look at. Because probably everyone's gone. So let's in. look at Brown first. 
Good luck, honey. I'm nervous about this one. <laughs> no. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Totally fine. Bye, Brown. Okay. <laughs> Why is Dartmouth just not loading? Okay, so Dartmouth just came out and it's the last decision I have. It came out at 726 instead of 7. But that's fine. Rip! Oh well. Did not get in, but that's okay. okay. BC's looking so good right now. <laughs> yep. Alright, that's, that's okay. okay. I love you. I'm proud love of you. you. Thank you. That's a wrap on college decisions. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We've well, got great choices, honey. Woo! Okay. Now that you have seen all of my reactions, I'll share a little bit about my choice. For me, it came down to a few schools. Over one of the school vacations, I went back to Washington, D.C. Um, I saw Georgetown again. I also saw Providence College again. And I saw Boston College again. As I was whittling it down, those schools out of the ones I was accepted to just seemed the most um, practical and they kind of matched where I'm at at this point in my life, kind of the closest um, for the time being. That's not to say that any of the other schools are bad schools. I honestly had a really hard time clicking that no button to all of the other schools, um, especially the two in my top three that I didn't pick. I really, really did like every school that I applied to. It did come down to Georgetown, Providence, or Boston College for me. Ultimately, I looked at all three schools again right before that May 1st decision date. It was a really, really difficult decision between those three schools for me. But ultimately, I decided that next year I will be attending Boston College. I'm so excited about it. I, I, it just felt right. When I was looking at all of these schools, it just gave me the feeling like it was home. Um, I really, really love Boston College. I'm very excited about it. So I'll be in the Boston College class of 2025, which is super exciting. You can't even really see how excited I was from my reaction video, because I think I was kind of like in shock and it had been three months. I wasn't used to opening all of these decisions. But after I opened that, I went downstairs, ate celebratory ice cream, and then danced around my kitchen for like 10 minutes. It was just kind of apparent in like how excited I was. And then as I was thinking about it, after I kind of like in my head made the decision, I would just like get really giddy about it and just kind of like to myself, if that makes sense. I did start crying in a sushi restaurant because I came to the realization that it's where I wanted to go. So it was just all of those little signs where I was just like really, really happy when I was there. I was really happy when I was thinking about being there. That kind of told me that it was the right place to be. After a year's worth of very hard work, I am very relieved to be done and very happy that I have found the right college for me. If I had any advice for next year's class, the class after that, who are going to be those seniors in high school going through the same thing, don't procrastinate. Have your essay done before the school year starts. Know how many recommendation letters you need and get them before the school year starts. Have your list done before the school year starts. Don't think that you have to only do um, early action until November and only regular decision after. Um, because I applied to probably more safeties than I needed, partly because I'm indecisive, but partly because I thought, oh, I have another week until November 15th, I can totally do another one, you know? But your regular decisions will probably take a little bit more work. So if you can start those before November 15th, do it. Just do it. It'll be easy for you. If you have the opportunity to take the SAT or the ACT, just do it. It really... It really can't hurt to try to take it and try to score high because if you get a good score, you can send that in as an extra like bolster to your application. And the last thing to know, a lot of people I see getting like really upset if they don't get into um, one of their top schools. I didn't get into one of my top schools. Just one of those things where you need to realize that if you get rejected by a school, 
first of all, a lot of it is probably not you. It's because it's a competitive school. There were a lot of other factors. Also, if you don't get into a school, it probably means that it wasn't the perfect fit for you. And it makes your decision a little bit easier. So it's nothing to be, you know, really upset about, really embarrassed about. It's just what happens. And it's just bringing you one step closer to picking the place that you're really meant to be. So it's kind of important not to take it too much to heart because you'll end up where you need to be in the long run. So with that, I'm going to head out, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I'll probably watch it like five years from now when I'm graduating BC and be really emo and sad. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited. And if you're gonna do the college process soon, don't be nervous. You'll end up where you need to end up in the end and you'll be really happy about it. So thank you for watching and I will maybe see you shortly with more videos. <laughs> Goodbye. Roll eggs.